Hi, and welcome to Tea with Terry. Today I'm sitting in my living room. Uh, so you may hear birds in the background. We have birds. You might hear the dogs bark. I'm going to hope that it's not too disruptive for you. But welcome to my home. This is, this is it. Uh, I'm really feeling the energy of the season and it's, it's amping up, you know, uh, at this time of year, things are charged. There's, uh, there's electricity in the air almost. We're gathering with friends and coworkers and family a lot more than we do in other months of the year, whether it be a religious holiday or uh, an end of the year celebration. We're just getting together and there are more people about even if you're out just at the grocery store or at a shopping mall, you're going to run into more people in December than ever, ever in May or April. So I've just become really aware of how the energy moves around me. And as we enter into this holiday season, whether it be for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever it is that you are celebrating, we're also ending the year. So we're entering into this time of years, a year of energy kind of coming to a close and that creates a charge. So I wanted to check in and see how your toolbox is, how your coping toolbox is. Some of my favorite things to do when I feel that um, my energy is getting scattered or uh, there's just too much activity around me is um, they're basics really. It's grounding, centering, breathing. Mantras are fantastic to do. So today, if you will, I'd like to go through a few of those. Grounding is the easiest one, right? So you simply imagine that your energy is coming down from your root chakra, from your feet, from your legs, however, wherever it feels comfortable to you, send that energy down into the earth and really feel yourself rooting right here in this present moment. Uh, if you need a little extra, you can imagine then bringing healing vibration, healing energy up from the earth into your body and allowing it to spread all throughout you. It's a great tool. Just any moment when things are feeling like they're just starting to slip into chaos, just take a breath and ground your energy down into the earth. Really get present. And that leads to the second uh, fantastic tool, and that's centering. So when we center... There are a couple different ways to center, and you pick the one that works best for you. You can bring your focus and your energy to your heart center or to your solar plexus. Uh, it's about, the centering is more about becoming aware of your own body in space and less aware of those around you. So if you're sitting in the, midi, in the middle of a, a cafe, say, and there's just a lot of people and a lot of talk and a lot of chatter. And you're starting to find yourself just sort of feeling a little agitated from all of that uh, commotion or energy around you. Take a moment to bring your awareness, soften the awareness uh, with your eyes of the area. Soften the awareness with your ears of hearing the sounds. Bring your attention to your internal spaces, to your heart space. Oh, there you go. You hear the bird. <laughs> to your heart space or to your solar plexus. Just try to draw in your energy so that it's coming back to you and not just being focused outward on others. Another great way to center is to just feel your body. Be very physically present. So what does the fabric feel like against your skin? What is the surface that you're sitting on or standing on? And then feel into your muscles. Are you tense? Are you holding your shoulders like this? Or can you like drop them down and give a little stretch? I'm um, really coming present in your body either energetically or very physically and feeling what your body feels like and feeling what the things that are touching your body feel like. Um, that's a great way to center. Another uh, indispensable tool when we're looking in our toolbox for ways to cope and calm our nervous system is your breath. And that this is really, really, really uh, one that can be managed anywhere at any time. So oh, just that act of releasing everything on an exhale will help get you a little calmer. But a, a, a good technique is a four by four breath. 
So in a four by four breath, what you do is you breathe in for the count of four, and then you breathe out for the count of four. And then you breathe in for the count of four, and you breathe out for the count of four. Now, if you want to take this a little deeper, stretch out that number. Don't do a four count, do a five count or a six count or an eight count. See how, how even and slow you can make your breathing um, and how rhythmic you can make it too. And then an even more advanced level is to, let's go back to the four breath. Breathe in for the count of four, hold for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, and hold for a count of four. So that looks a little more like this. And then an in, so it's an in for a count of four, hold for a count of four, out for a count of four, and hold for a count of four. And then breathing in again. When I was first working with the holding pattern in this breathing exercise, the hardest breath for me was that hold after the exhale. There is just this biological uh, urge in me to inhale again, to, to take the next breath. Um, and in practicing it and really consciously bringing all my effort and attention to it, I taught myself that I can hold, I, I can exhale and release all of my breath and pause. I can take the time to have those pauses in my life between my inhale and my exhale. I can pause and I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna be just fine. In fact, it's fantastic for your nervous system. So grounding, centering, breathing, you might be a meditator and work with mantras. Mantras are another really good way to just sort of bring your attention to one focused thing. So uh, if you do yoga or you follow um, any of the Eastern traditions, many of them have mantras built into them. But I'm offering that you find your own mantra. Come up with your own repeated short direct phrase that just soothes you and calms you and the more you say it you get into a rhythm with it and you just are okay it's your signal to calm down if any of you follow dakota earth cloud at dakota earth um, she works with shaman mantras and they're fantastic and i know that they've helped a lot of people to just sort of bring their awareness to center to focus to love to health to healing to whatever it is so maybe check that out dakota earth uh, and check out her shaman mantras. So we've talked about mantras and grounding and centering and breathing. There's also just that obvious, take a break, give yourself a time out, put your phone down, close your computer and go walk outside. Even if there's a foot of snow, go outside, be with the trees, be with the air, be with the birds. There are still birds around this winter time. It's so beautiful. And it might be summer where you are. Just get outside, unplug for a little bit, and go outside. So there are a lot more tools that can be in your toolbox to help your nervous system calm down at this time of year when we're all really busy and active. But I just wanted to give you a few, and why don't you let me know what, you, what your favorite tools are, how you like to calm down when the energy around you seems to be swirling a little more frantically than usual. I hope you have a great holiday season and that you find lots of time to be with family and friends, but mostly that you find lots of time to be with yourself, centered and fully present. Take care.